Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're back in the bathroom because when are we not in my bathroom? But I wanted to show you guys how I like trim my split ends and give myself layers without like chopping like my length off, I guess that's how you'd say it. I don't know. Um, a disclaimer, I'm not a professional. This is like something I've always done. Um, the layer thing, I just figured out like I just found that method and I tried it twice already in the past couple weeks and I'm actually really a fan of it now that I trust it I think I'm gonna go cut a little bit more than I normally would and then for the split ends I just need to do it really bad because as you guys can tell my hair is yet another color I know shocker uh, my cousin who was one of my bridesmaids in my wedding she did my hair the night before she is a professional she actually does know what she's doing she did my hair and then the day of she also like curled and all that stuff so um because it is brown brown again <laughs> because it is blonde again and there's bleach in it um she did trim um i mean i can't tell but she said she trimmed some split ends off but it could definitely use another one Okay, so I'm just going to show you some of the things that I'm going to be using for them. The first one is these, like, scissors. The cousin I was just talking about actually broke these. But I've taped them up for now because I want to use them. I want to use, like, because these are meant for your hair. So I want to use scissors that are meant for your hair and not, like, normal scissors, like kitchen scissors. Um, and then I'm going to take this. This is going to be for when I do my layers. I'm probably going to just use a normal clip for just a little bit of hair while I do split ends. I have a brush, also Dollar Tree. This is actually my husband's, so I'm going to use it because it's right here. And then um, I'm pretty sure I used these last time. I'm also from Dollar Tree. Holy crap, everything you can find at Dollar Tree. And this, this is actually from Dollar Tree too. Just go to Dollar Tree. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how I do the split ends. Super freaking easy. I'm not even going to show you all of it. I think I'm just going to do half and show you, so I'm going to, I guess I'm just going to throw this hair up. Because I hate when I work on one part of hair and the other part is like just chilling. No, that's not going to work. It's too much hair to hold. Okay. I hope you guys can see because there's so much in the background. Um, I think I'm just going to do this. Like I said, I'm not a professional. I just kind of do like what I know without ruining my hair. You know, I guess that's a good way to say it. Okay, so you're going to take hair. Um, like these hair. I don't know how thick you should take it. I have pretty thick hair, so it's probably going to take me a minute, which is why I don't want to show you guys all of it. But um, this is pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm trying to, like, show you while seeing it. So you're going to basically, I know, what do they call this? I can't remember. But they do this. And then they just start chopping away. And then you basically go down until the hair starts coming out, and then you just chop it off. Try to get closer. There really isn't a lot of split ends back here. And then I'm going to briefly do it in the front. Gonna do that. I hope it's fucking thing because I gotta look in the mirror. I'm really surprised at how bad it is in the back here. So there is also another way you can do this. Let me show you the next one. The next chunk I do, basically you to twist it, it's literally the same thing, you're just going to wait till the hairs that need to be trimmed pop out, and then you just trim it. It's pretty easy. And I just like doing it the other way, because this is just like, ugh, I don't know. Anyways, um, let's see. You can hear, see all that hair? And I'm just going to go in and literally trim it. And I, I also feel like, look how like little hair comes out. I feel like you miss um, a lot of the hair that actually needs to be trimmed, you know. 
That's my husband. I'm gonna go ahead and split this. Like so. But quickly I'm gonna reply to Ruben because then I'll forget to reply to him. Okie dokie. See, like, pieces like this wouldn't be bad to do this method, but I just really can't stand it sometimes. So what I'm going to do now is show you guys how I do my layers, which is like the easiest, fastest thing you can possibly do. Um, I want to try to show you the length of my hair before starting, so I think I'm going to take you off. Okay, so it's going to focus on me, but I'm going to try to zoom in, and my hair is um, at the tip of my tailbone, so... I'm probably going to try to chop a little more off than I normally would when I do like long layers like this. I think it's considered long layers. I don't really know. But um, that's where it's at. It's almost like here's my tailbone. Like the tip of my tailbone. So it's almost at my butt. And although I do love the length of my hair, I don't like how damaged it easily can get. Okay, dokie. I'm gonna try to, um, I'm pretty sure the angle changed, but whatever. I'm gonna try to, um, cut a little bit more. I have a hard time cutting my hair because I, I just like it long. It's so thick that the shorter it is, the harder it is to deal with. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So, this is, I'm, this is how I do this. I'm gonna flip my hair over and bring the ponytail as high as I freaking can, okay? So don't I look pretty like a unicorn or a horse's butt? Okay, so I'm going to put your hair, head straight. And then at your chin, you're going to do this just so that way your hair stays straight while you're cutting. It's not, this is not where we're going to cut, but, um, this just makes it, this part stay so that way it's not like bouncing or whatever while you're cutting the bottom. And, oh, I don't have any nails, so it's like super hard. Okie dokie. Oh. Alright, and then I suggest doing another one down here and then that way, I don't know, like, I don't know what it's called, you guys, but like, it just helps it stay sturdy so you're not like chopping and then like, you have here a care here and here here, you know? I don't know. I hope you guys know what I mean. I'm probably gonna come down to here. I have to do it straight so it comes out straight. So um it's kind of a lot, so I'm gonna just do this. Yeah, it wasn't straight whatsoever. It's just so hard to see, so be careful doing this because you can make it a little bit uneven. It's just a little that way. 
I'm not gonna lie, these are kind of hard now that this thing comes out. I'm gonna, oh. Okay, so of course my camera overheated. What's freaking new? I stopped what I was doing because I didn't want you guys to miss it like you normally do when my camera turns off and it doesn't tell me. So anyways, um, here is what I've done. I was thinking I was going to go more, but I think it looks pretty good. There really isn't a whole lot of um, split ends at this point. So I'm not going to leave it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and take, you know, obviously, and then go upwards like so. I forgot what this is called, but it, it does something like bigger. Okay, so it's kind of difficult after I take a ponytail in my hair, but I'm zooming for you guys. So you can tell that really none of my length is gone, but it's like shorter over here because it's going to be shorter in the front. So if you remember, my tailbone ends here, so there's like a little tiny bit like this much that was actually taken off. At least I think from when my tailbone starts. Okay, so this is my hair curled. I curled it, let it cool, and then I ran my fingers through it. And my freaking toilet. But basically, so here's a layer. And there's another layer here. I'm looking in the viewfinder, so I can't really tell. And then the, obviously the last layer is down here. So you can see the different like dimensions of it. But anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys found it a little bit helpful. Um, this is just like what I do to keep up with my hair. So like, here's the two short layers, and then like the last layers in the back. I love it. And it's like convenient when you just need like a little bit, you don't want to go too overboard and some hair gestures do. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time. Bye guys.